come here. Shh, shh, shh. You can't play right now. Here, come here. Okay. Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to animate text fading in and out with Swift and Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first thing we need to do is open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project, and this will just be a game this time. This will be a sprite kick game, so click next, and our product name I'm just going to call mine animate text. Our language will be set to Swift. Game technology will be equal to sprite kit, so be sure that's selected. Devices will be set to iPhone. Click next and create. Now let's make this a bit bigger. Head over to our game scene.swift and they already have a label set up for you. So we are actually just going to be dealing with that label that they already set for us. You can of course create your own. Down here in the touches began, I don't want any of this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all of that just so there's not as much clutter. Now let's go down here to our view, did move to view and inside of our did move to view, we wanna create an action list. So let's go ahead and say var and this will be our animate list. So this will be a list of animations that need to happen to this label. And our animate list will be equal to an SK action dot sequence. So this is going to be a sequence of actions that we are going to put in this array. So right inside of these parentheses, we need to say open square bracket, close square bracket. And inside of those square brackets, we just need to say SK action dot fade in with duration. So this is going to be the fading in of our my label or the label that you created. How long do we want this to happen? I'm just going to make it happen for one second comma and then we need to have sk action dot wait for duration so we're going to leave this the way it is just for let's say two seconds and then comma and lastly we want a fade out action so say sk action dot fade out with duration and this will be 1.0 seconds and now right underneath this animate list, we want to apply this animation that we just created or the sequence of animations that we created and apply that to our label. So let's just say my label dot run action. And this action will be an SK action dot repeat action forever. And it's waiting for our action. So just type in our animate list. So now this is going to repeat this animation forever. So now, as you can see, we have our hello world and it is fading in and out as we created in our sequence. Now, of course, you can go back into your SK action right here and you can delete this wait for action. That way it just goes back and forth between the fade in and the fade out with duration. So now we have this hello world and it's just going to go back and forth between those two really rapidly. Or if you just want this action to run once, we can go to my label dot run action, delete all of this that we have in here and just type in animate list and build and run. And as you will see, it's gonna build and then fade out. All right, so now let's do this without Sprite Kit. So let's open up Xcode, create a new project. I'm just going to go to single view application, click next and our product name, I'm just going to call mine animate text. Then we go to language, our language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to iPhone. Click next and create. Now let's make this a bit bigger. And let's head right over into our main.storyboard. And inside of our main.storyboard, just go ahead and click and drag a label onto our scene like so. And really this doesn't apply to labels. This can really apply to any object that you want, but I am just going to be using labels for tutorial purposes. So click on this label. Let's drag it off to the side right here. And then we take this label, I'm going to center the text and then I'm going to apply some constraints to it. So right down here in the bottom right hand corner, I'm just going to say add missing constraints. Of course, you can watch my other tutorial on how to use constraints, but I just want to take the fast route. Now let's head over here to the assistant editor and inside of our assistant editor, we want to right click or control click and drag from that label over to our view controller .swift. And this label, we'll just call this label, <laughs> so creative. And now we need to go right down here, right underneath our view to load or pretty much anywhere you want. And we just need to create a new function. We're going to call this function animate animate text open parentheses close parentheses open curly bracket close curly bracket and inside of this animate text function we first need to say ui view dot animate with duration and we want this one right down here that says duration animation completion so let's just tab that all in or double click that all in our duration i'm just going to make mine one second this is going to be the amount of time that it's going to fade into our scene 
And then our animations, what do we want to happen? Well, we want it to fade into our scene. So just say open curly bracket, enter close curly bracket. And inside of these brackets, we just want to set our label dot alpha equal to 1.0 seconds. And inside of our view did load, we also need to just say label dot alpha equals zero. So now it's going to be invisible as soon as the view loads. And as soon as animate text is called, we are going to set the label.alpha equal to one or basically completely visible. Now down here inside of our completion, we're just going to add our completion. What happens when this animation is done? So right inside of here, we need to say open curly bracket, close curly bracket. And inside of this, we need to say open parentheses, close parentheses. And we're also getting these errors right up here since this needs to be recognized as self.label.alpha. And this error right here will go away in just a second. Now go down here to our completion. And inside of this completion, it's waiting for a bool value to be returned. So right inside of these parentheses, we need to say completed colon, and this will be a bool value. Then go dash arrow, basically creating an arrow, void in, and then we want these actions to run right after this. So what do we want to happen after this? Well, we want another animation to happen. So just say UI view dot animate with duration, and we want this one that says delay options right over here. So this duration will determine how fast it's going to fade out. So I'm going to set that equal to 1.0 seconds. Our delay, you can set this to whatever you want. I'm going to make mine three seconds. Options, UI view animate options. We're just going to say UI view animation options dot curve linear. That way it's just a straight animation. We don't really want to mess with the curvies in and out, so on and so forth. Now after the delay is done, what do we want to animate? So right after this animations here, you just need to say open curly bracket, enter close curly bracket. And inside of this, we're going to set our label dot alpha equal to zero. So after three seconds, it's going to set our label dot alpha equal to zero. And now for this completion down here, we basically want to put in here that we would like to run this animate text over and over again until let's say a bool value cancels it out. I'm not going to show you how to do that right now, but inside of our completion, let's go ahead and do exactly what we did before. So open curly bracket, enter close curly bracket. And again, just we can actually just copy and paste this completed bool void in and paste that right into this part right here. And this should say self.label.alpha equals zero as we are referencing it as another UI view. Now, right inside of our completion, we want to say self.animate text. So as soon as everything's done, we want to repeat this action over and over again, set the alpha to one, then after three seconds, set the alpha to zero. So if we were to build and run this right now, Right now it's actually not being called since we haven't referenced it to be called in the view did load. So right inside of our view did load, just say animate text, open parentheses, close parentheses, build and run. And there you have our label fading in, wait three seconds, and then our label will fade out. And just do that over and over again. Now you can of course make this a delay equals zero. And now we will just have a faster animation happening. And now our label is just fading in and out and in and out like so. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button down below and be sure to subscribe for future tutorials. Thank you again and I will see you in the next one.